We could feel the air a little bit more humid today compared to what it has been the past uh, several days, about past three to four days. We'll continue to increase that humidity through the rest of the week here. Notice high temperatures uh, across Minnesota and Iowa, Wisconsin. Notice Rochester, one of the coolest places at 81 degrees. Uh, Northern Minnesota, Bemidji getting up to 96 degrees today. Uh, St. Cloud, Morris both at 91, Marshall at 92, even Duluth warmer at 87 degrees for high temperatures so far today. As we look on our Lewis and Otto live camera, uh, we do have temperatures right now at 80 degrees here in Rochester. Those winds still out of the south southeast at about 11 miles per hour. Our humidity is up due to those dew points in the mid to upper 60s right now at 68 degrees. That's the warmest our dew points been since about early last week. Now temperatures remaining lower 80s here in Rochester. We have mid 80s on I-35 through Albert Lee, Northwood, Mason City. 86 currently in La Crosse and 82 in Winona. Those current dew points getting close to the 70s and I think we could get lower 70s for dew points probably later this week, Thursday and Friday, just before a frontal boundary moves through, which could bring the chance for some showers and thunderstorms. So what to expect here throughout the rest of the week? Mainly clear and warmer tonight. I think overnight lows stay in the 60s. Past several nights we've been dropping down into the 50s for those lows. This week we continue to increase those temperatures and we increase the humidity by Thursday and Friday. Our rain chances still looking late this week, Friday and maybe extending into the weekend with some isolated chances. Notice those temperatures. We climb back into the mid 80s. I think we're close to around 84, 85 for high temperatures Wednesday through Friday. Frontal boundary moves through. Notice we then drop high temperatures both Saturday and Sunday into the 70s. We'll still keep some humidity around on Saturday. Another boundary moves through and then we'll drop dew points back down into the mid 50s by Sunday. As we look here, future track radar, clear skies continue. We'll deal with some high level clouds, some cumulus clouds out there. We have tropical depression uh, Fred right now and has been sparking some uh, tornado warnings uh, through uh, South Carolina so far this afternoon and evening. So we're watching that here, but we're dry and quiet over the upper Midwest. Should stay that way until late this week. So we're still looking at Friday as the best chance for some showers and thunderstorms. We'll kind of highlight Friday looking at mainly late in the evening through the overnight hours. It might roll over into early Saturday morning. We're still not looking at impressive rainfall rates though. Potentially this weekend, another round of isolated showers late Sunday extending into Monday. So future track here, rest of the evening tonight, temperatures remaining pretty warm. We're still mid 70s. Lately by 10 o'clock, we've been low 60s. I think tonight we're mid to low 70s, so a big change there temperature wise. Upper 60s to start off your day on Wednesday. We'll increase that cloud cover high temperatures with strong south southeasterly winds right back mid 80s. Notice the 90s continue to build off to the west of I-35. Rest of the night, drop those temperatures down mid to lower 60s. I think with enough clear skies, we're able to drop down to 62 for the overnight low tonight. Wouldn't be surprised though we see anywhere from about 62 to 65 area wide tonight. Tomorrow, high temperatures slightly warmer. We're at 84 for the high tomorrow in Rochester. Notice some areas though getting close to 87, 88 degrees. For those high temperatures tomorrow. Seven day forecast, 85 for the high Thursday. I think that's the warmest day we'll see here in Rochester. And then as we move towards the weekend, chances for showers and thunderstorms Friday into Saturday. And then we'll drop those temperatures down upper 70s Saturday and Sunday. That'll do it for your weather authority forecast. We're back right after this.